everyone, welcome to my lovely hotel room in Oslo. Fantastic view behind me, but uh, yeah, I am in Oslo. I'm not spending too much time here, just maybe half of tonight and half of, and half of tomorrow, um, just to get some kit before I head out to the forest of Ostmarka, ready for uh, 10 days of pack rafting, lake crossing and bushcraft. So yeah, that's the plan this time. So uh, yeah. Should be fun, should be good. Weather looks fantastic for the next 10 days, so I'm super happy, super chuffed. Now, time to get on with just repacking my bag, just, yeah. Good morning, everyone. So, just got the bag packed. Um, I'm not leaving the hotel, well, I am leaving the hotel, but not uh, checking out. Got a couple of bits and pieces in town I wanna pick up, uh, and then I'm heading off to Ustmarka for the next 10 days, so uh, yeah. Um, that's the plan for this afternoon, find a spot, make camp, uh, do some fishing, do some bushcraft, and yeah, that's the plan for today. Let's get to it. Hey everyone, so uh, slight update. I am currently uh, in the Ustmarka woods itself. So behind me is the uh, Oslo Fjord and uh, the woods just here in front of me. So, uh, yeah, very nice. Uh... So yeah, very nice um, coniferous forest, one of my favorite environments, as you will know. So uh, yeah, my plan is, is to spend two days getting down, uh, trekking down to um, Estmarka Park and then I'm gonna spend five days in the park and then maybe spend one to two days, five to six days in the park and then with the pack raft and then one to two days getting out. So uh, yeah, should be fun. I'm not doing too much filming at the moment as I'm trying to conserve my batteries and also there are quite a few people around seeing it is a Saturday and you know me, so yeah. Here's a good trip. That is absolutely something to avoid. That is a massive, massive bog, swamp, marsh, whatever you want to call it. So uh, that's why I'm standing terra firma, because I do not want to get caught in that and cut this trip short in the first few hours. So yeah. sign here so yeah I'm officially at the border of Ustmarka National Park let's go alrighty so after covering around about uh, five kilometers today um, with sort of a 20 plus kilo pack I'd say is fairly good going considering I haven't done that much training for it but uh, yeah I've, um, I think I'm on my campsite for tonight the weather's fantastic so there's no wind it's meant to be sunny the whole weekend so I'm not going to bother pitching the tarp um, I might regret those words later but we'll see um, but uh, yeah I'm actually camping with a uh, with a new system I'm going uh, hammock camping so uh, yeah very very much in a coniferous forest lots of uh, swampy marshland so uh, yeah I thought uh, try something new and um, yeah, I, I haven't done that much filming today because it's still day one, getting to grips. I'm focusing more on uh, cut on uh, transport, so I might do uh, 
because at the minute my plan is to basically just hike until I get down to the lakes and then when I get down to the lake system that I want to paddle that's when I'll do a little bit more filming so uh, yeah let's go unpack get the tarp uh, get the hammock ready and make camp and then I think because I didn't have lunch I'm gonna have two MREs for dinner so yeah we'll see forgive the messiness of the camp but there it is all set up my hammock so uh, yeah compared to last time I was hammock camping I actually have a uh, under quilt a uh, down under quilt so it's a little bit warmer and uh, yeah quickly close the bug net so that uh, I don't get any creepy crawlies in there what's nice as well is that I'm not is that I know that I'm not fully alone out here because um, 100 or 50 meters that way I can just about see the tree line is uh, a couple of families so uh, yeah nice to know that there's civilization out here so uh, yeah now plan is is to go fill up the grail from the lake down there and then afterwards have some dinner because I am hungry and then probably chill out, read a book, maybe I'll leave him climbing the sleeping bag now because it is getting a little bit chilly now that the sun's gone, so... Uh... And then that's dinner just being made there. And then up there on those trees is my campsite so uh, yeah I'm in Norway happy days tonight's meal consists of kebab and rice and pasta bolognese so uh, yeah yummers alrighty so uh, I'm in the hammock so uh, yeah well uh, See how it goes. I'm feeling a little chilly at the minute. Not uh, not freezing cold, but definitely a little bit, uh, a little bit cool. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is it for day one. It's just gone uh, twenty past eight, so um, or twenty two eight, I should say. Um, so yeah. I just had to quickly hop out of the hammock and drop it down a notch just because my feet were literally just, uh, yeah. Still a little bit higher than my head, but not too bad. So, uh, yeah, nah. It's been a good day. It's been a long day. I've been awake since like 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. I don't really remember, but uh, yeah. Um. I think I'll just end it there before I start yammering too much. So, uh, yeah, see you in the morning. Alrighty, so I'm here. I've um, had to put the, uh, one sec here. Yeah, as you can tell, I've um, had to put the, uh, the tarp up. So, uh, yeah, because it was getting quite cold. And um, there was a little bit of airflow, and I could just feel it just sapping away all my body heat. The underquilt is working, but uh, yeah. Also, I didn't like being out in the open too much. I mean, it was great, but uh, I think from now on, I'm just going to string the tarp just in case. So, yeah. Good night, everyone, and I'll catch you in the morning.